Hey guys, Android Rooted Pro here, and today we're going to be installing custom fonts for our user interface, or pretty much our whole operating system in general. We're also going to be discussing certain problems that can occur when using font installers, such as it not actually doing anything. It's not changing your, uh, your whole user interface, it only changes one application. And we're going to be discussing how to work our way around this. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is open up Play Store and install Font Installer. It's going to be on the top left hand screen, the first application that shows up. So we're going to go ahead and open up Font Installer, and you're going to notice right off the bat that there is a variety of custom fonts to install. It's as easy as just clicking the custom font that you like and clicking Install. You can also preview the font before you actually install it, that way you know what you're getting yourself into. You can also send it to a friend, you can favor it, but sometimes when you do actually install the font, it only changes a certain application or it doesn't change anything at all. So we're going to be uh, first talking about how to make our way around this. So go ahead and click on the menu button on your phone and go to preferences. And you're always going to want to check the install path just to see if it's in the right directory. It's going to be in system and fonts. So if you look on the top, it's going to say system and fonts, which is perfectly fine. So go ahead and click select. And then we're also going to be looking at select fonts. This is the main preference that you're going to want to change in case that in case the font installer not working for you. So as you can see, there's a few tick marks like Clockopia. If you don't have this ticked or if you don't have Clockopia at all, don't worry about it. A lot of devices don't. And then if we scroll down, you're going to see Robot Roboto Regular TTF, which should be installed on every single Android device. And you should have this clicked. And if you have all these clicked and it still doesn't work, so what you're going to be looking for is your custom font that your system comes installed with. And the way that you're going to know what the custom font is, it's usually going to be your brand name. So if we just click out of this, you can check what your brand name is just by, of course it's going to be LG or, um, or Samsung or something along those lines abbreviated. So you can go ahead and click on root browser just in case. And we're going to go to system. So just scroll down to system, scroll down to etc. And then just scroll all the way down to an XML. I think it's a, yeah, it's XML file called system fonts. So we we'll just scroll down. Yeah, system fonts XML. And just open it up with, with RB text editor or your um your root browser text editor. And just scroll down, just information. So you're gonna notice that the first set of the first block of XML code, it's gonna have your systems custom font. Mine is LG smart gothic regular so you can see right there let's go ahead and click out of that so once you have your custom font and you know what it is just go ahead and click out of root browser go back into font installer go to, to your select fonts and find that TFF so algae smart regular which is right here so I'll go ahead and tick that and we're gonna click OK and just to show you that it now works for me I'm just gonna go ahead and click on a certain font I'll go ahead and click on this one Go ahead and preview it, it looks good, I like it, so I shall install it. So it's easy as in just installing it, and then we're going to reboot it. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot it and show you that it did work. Alright guys, as you can see, it completely changed the whole user interface. It changed the whole operating system font in general. The web browser, your contacts, everything. And you can always just go back, go back to font installer, and just choose uh, whichever other font that you would like, and just go ahead and install it. And it's easy as that. And that's pretty much how you use Font Installer and ways to work around it not actually working. And if you still have any questions, just go ahead and let me know in the comments. And if you have any suggested videos, just go ahead and let me know as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to install custom fonts using Font Installer. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, guys, I'll see you guys later.